a theory that I wanted to dispel real quick that I heard again recently. I've heard it many times, but the theory is that life thrives by increasing entropy and that this is the of the reason why we're killing the planet now is that we are increasing entropy and that's depleting our resources and making it impossible for us to continue living. Uh, the problem with this is that as a matter of fact, life has the capacity not to speed up entropy, but actually to slow it down. And you can prove this very simply because before life existed, light would hit the planet and then heat up the planet and then the heat would dissipate into the universe. And uh, that's entropy, all right? After life, light would hit the planet, be absorbed by photosynthesizers, be bonded to various elements, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and then that, some of it, a lot of it, would get stored uh, in what we now re refer to as oil reserves and uh, coal reserves. Like, that's, that's light that did not entrify when it should have millions of years ago because of life, because of living things that slowed down entropy. Because this is the essential function of life is that it does slow down entropy. And actually, if you go to the extreme, if you believe in free will as a, an additional factor, you can go to Maxwell's demon. Maxwell's demon proves that if will exists, that you can actually reverse entropy. That in an isolated system with a willed being, you can actually accumulate resources rather than depleting them. That's, that's a pretty powerful uh, change in the way that we view ourselves, that somehow we have a choice whether to be forces of entropy or forces anti-entropy. And that maybe, maybe, life itself is an anti-entropy force altogether. <laughs>